I've got one client and I got two clients on the way. And okay. I didn't launch anything, Eugene. The only thing that I think happened is that video I shared regarding how I went up north and what I lied, four clients. So when I went up north, I, I think you saw that video. I had a client. My client just landed three clients from one single video. In this episode, I would like to break it down for you what is required. Because don't you want to have this, this success when you don't have to do crazy launches because they're exhausting. You don't want to post three times a day how other gurus would suggest on Instagram. Uh, all you want to do, you do, you want to deliver quality service. You want to transform lives. You want to put your service out there and you want people just watch your video and sign up, right? It should be simple. It should be easy. So this is what my client did. And after that, let's chat and let's break it down. What exactly was happening behind the scenes? What was possible and what you can do My right goodness. now? I've got one client and I got two clients on the way. And okay. I didn't launch anything, Eugene. The only thing that I think happened is that video I shared regarding how I went up north and I lied, four clients. So when I went up north, I, I think you saw that video. I had a client that was interested, or uh, a friend that was interested in mentorship with me. And we had talked uh, just a few days ago, a little bit after I posted that video, we were talking and he was like, yeah, I'm interested in mentorship. And so uh, after that video, like three other people contacted me, DM me like, hey, I'm looking for a mentor. Hey, I saw your video. And so I, I cannot do a launch to like bring in people and just do like a video. And then all of a sudden here comes all these people from the floodgates. I'm just like, Oh gosh. <laughs> Listen, it is a good problem to have. Like, yeah, I know. I know. It's just interesting. Cause I'm expecting like, okay, I'm gonna do a launch and attract some, some more clients. And I didn't even get a chance to do that. I just did one video, one little small video explaining how I went up North, how I want to help people, how I think this is my calling. And then all of a sudden just boom, 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 boom. I, like, listen, I, I saw that video. Like, um, okay. <laughs> like that's, I, I, I thought like, that's cute. Like, okay. He probably <laughs> right. going to hit like a couple of like, discovery calls like right. but like i mean it, listen like it's it's like it, it, it apparently it was great so apparently i didn't think it was gonna be that great i didn't think it was gonna bring that much attention and i think two people had shared it so that probably boosts its you know uh visibility in a sense where it's like oh yeah this guy you know so i and then yeah this morning i got a guy that so when i go to uh uh, I go to Black Tech Saturdays this Saturday. He wants to meet up with me. He's like, hey, yeah, you do mentorship, right? And I'm like, yes. He's like, I want to talk to you about your mentorship program. Are you going to Black Tech Saturday this Saturday? And I said, yes, I am. So, yeah, yeah. I, I, just, <laughs> I, can't, I can't explain it. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Well, like that's you're walking in your assignment and you are walking in your abundance. And this is now, you know, like this is like this is what happens when I don't like this is like I don't know how to explain it logically, but metaphysically, right? When we are investing in our blessings, right? When we work with the right mentor, um, and like that mentor's heart in the right place, we get blessings right from like through other people because usually the same happens to me as soon as i invest in a program i normally have like a breakthrough for example when i invested nine thousand dollars in jerisha like i got like i got significant traction in my career coaching program and then we started working together like actually it's like when yeah like when i started working with jerisha and the same thing like i see with my clients right what like if y'all implement everything correctly and sometimes even before y'all implement everything correctly it just like it just happens right like really like simplicity yeah. When it comes to your offer, in my program, what I teach my clients is OTP Triangle, offer, traffic, and 
transitioning. If you have a weak offer, people not going to sign up. People may not be interested. If you have really good offer, but you don't have traffic, again, you pr- you put yourself out there. You create content. Nobody sees your content and positioning as a part of your messaging. So um, let's break it down what Donovan did exactly and how he matched that OTP triangle. Uh, let's start with the offer. Uh, he uh, offers people to help them to break into front-end development. And his program promise, his offer is really simple. If, if you don't know how to break into front-end development, I will help you to bro- break into uh, front-end development within 90 days or so. I will, I will teach you necessary skills in a very simple and non-confusing way so you can learn web development ASAP. So, and people sign up for his services even after they sign up for big boot camps. And boot camps are not cheap. So, this is the first this is the first foundation and it is the offer. Let's talk about traffic. Now, there's a big misconception that you need to have big following on social media in order to get any kind of traffic, any kind of traction to your offer. It is only partially true. Studies suggest that In order to make a million dollars in your business, you just have to have 1,000 royal or rather loyal. I mean, royal followers would help, right? Because, you know, but you have to have a 1,000 loyal followers who know, like, and trust you, who are interested in your content and you are engaging with them uh, through social media, whether it is your content, whether it is DMs, whether you are supporting their content and there is a reciprocity. So you don't need to have 5,000, 3,000, many, many thousands of people following you. What you need to have is just 1,000 loyal Listen to me when I, uh, what I'm saying. Loyal followers. It's not that you need to find that 1,000 followers on Instagram and you make a million dollars. This is not what I'm saying. I am saying that you need to have 1,000 loyal followers. People who are legitimately interested in you. who People who can, can afford your services and want to invest in you. And if you have 1,000 people in your network that satisfy that criteria... You got it. So, and this is like, and this is the traffic. So, Jonathan has only what twenty one hundred followers on LinkedIn. This is like, this is. I would honestly, I would say it is medium, if not small, following. I have seven thousand followers. That's a decent following. That's a decent mid sized following. Other names, they have over 100,000 followers on Instagram or 20, 30, 50,000 followers on Instagram. This is a big following, but you don't need to have that following. All you need to have is the right people and the right positioning. Uh, So when it comes to positioning and it comes down to your messaging, how you position that. So when it comes down to your messaging, it is important to understand and it's not about you. It is about your customer. The more you care about your customer, the more you care about your people, the more your people care about you, about you and your offer. Because check this out. Nobody cares how many sessions you have. Nobody cares how you're going to deliver their services. I mean, at the end of the day, I would like to know what is included. But people care about their transformation. Again, no matter if you do done-for-you services or you coach people or you provide them strategy, they don't care about the details as much. When they start diving into details on your sales goals, it's probably there is another objection brewing. Like, okay, like, but what what am I getting exactly? So you you didn't uncover the transformation or the pain. So, but people don't buy the details. People don't buy programs. People don't buy services for services sake. People buy transformation because they want to eliminate the pain. And this is your messaging and this is your positioning.
So if you're an entrepreneur and uh, you want to sell more high ticket offers, and in my case, in my books, high ticket offer is anything from $2,500 to $12,000 and above. So if you're not entrepreneur, you're a service-based entrepreneur and uh, you want to use organic content marketing, meaning you don't have to pay for paid ads. Uh, you want to uh, attract people who are aligned with you and ready to work with you. Uh, I have an invitation for you. Let me know in the comments. So there's a, uh, there's a link to book a call with me, book a strategy call with me. And uh, let me know that you're interested. I will review the applications and um, I am looking forward to chat with you. All right. The next step is really understand how that OTP triangle was created. So Donovan and I will work for six months. So during that six months, this is what we have done together. We created content seasons, not content pillars, content seasons, because there's seasonality in your business. There's seasonality in people's lives. There's seasonality in your uh, audience because you, Ideally, you want to get new uh, new people all the time. So in those seasons, they focus on um, elevating the level of awareness, driving people from problem unaware or unaware at all about you, about the problem that you're solving about your business to most aware, the most aware of you. So when they are in the consideration phase, they will consider your business. So this is what content seasons are doing. Let me know in the comments if you want to learn more about content seasons. I will make a video specifically dedicated to content seasons, y'all. So this is what I want you to do. Um, think about content seasons. So from seeding to selling so and again if you want me to dive more into content seasons comment content seasons in the, on this video and i will make a video about content seasons and i will make sure that you know about that video so we implement kind of seasons we implement it also organic very simple plug and play uh, formula how to do uh launches i call it challenger launch like you can call it whatever you want but it's really really simple formula when you go live over a certain period of time there's no registration needed it's very organic it's very it's very natural and you start creating community and you start guiding people through your live streams to elevated level of awareness so, and by the way, in uh, my program with, with my clients, I help them with all the tech because listen, I hear from so many entrepreneurs that tech is overwhelming. I don't know how to go live on LinkedIn. I don't know how to go live uh, on other platforms. I don't know where the buttons are at. I got you. Listen, I got you. Like if you want to go live through Zoom, I can teach you how to do live through Zoom. If you want a more simple version of your launch, I can help you to make that happen. And depending on your platform or if you're running multiple platforms, so I can literally break it. I'm breaking it down for my clients as well. So, but this is like, that was the work that was six months work right? Establishing uh, his authority, establishing really content seasons, going live and talking to people, and more importantly, reconnecting with the community. Because also, my client is very active in the community. So he's very, very active in the community. So, um, all right, and this is all I have for you for today. Let me know what resonated with you. And as always, if you want to uh, Talk to me if you want to schedule a call with me. Grab the link in the pink comment section for this video and um, we're going to chat. All right. Later.